Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make books and for that I shaped a piece of polymer clay that is a opaque white into the sides of the books. So they, this is uh, a block that is longer than it is high and I'm using my knife blade to make the indents for the pages um, on three of the sides before I cut out these uh, tiny uh, pieces of the papers. So this is actually the inside of the book um, and you can make these as thin or as thick as you want. You can make them smaller or you can make them bigger as I have here. There is actually no limits for books. So just make them in the shape you really like to. Well, that was a bit difficult to explain. Anyway, I baked my book's sides and I made some that was tinier than the first one. And then I rolled out some clay. I think it was on a setting seven. And this is going to be the book cover. So I'm just measuring above and under the pages here, making sure it is nice and um, equal in the width all the way around using some um, bacon bond to make sure that this baked uh, piece of pages for the book will stick together with the unbaked clay that is going to be the cover on the book. Um, and now I'm just going to turn my book over and then you have the cover on both sides cut off the excess clay and there you actually have your little book. I made one here that is a bit bigger so I am going to show you that you could make some details. Here I'm using the back side of my knife blade to make kind of an indent um, just behind the back of the book, uh, the book end. And I'm just going to make it more visible with my tools. So it's kind of looking like it has been opened uh, quite a few times. Some books even have this from the start on. Uh, and I am going to make some indents here on the back end of the book just for some detailings. You don't need to do this, but you can do it if you really uh, feel like. And then I'm just straightening the cover and that's all there is for the book. This is also a very nice way to use some of your rest clays, maybe from a cane or stuff like that. And you just twist that together and then roll that through the past machine and you get this marbled look that you can use for the book covers and they look actually really, really nice. So I made a few of those as well. So now all my books is actually done, but I decided to make some detail with my silver ink. Um, and I'm just placing that on a piece of a lid here and then making some book corners and maybe decorating the uh, spine of the books. But it's all up to you if you want to do this or not. I did that on a few books and I had a lot of fun with that. You could end right there, but I wanted to use my microperm, that is a permanent micron, to um, make some uh, names on the books and some decorations and stuff like that. Uh, that's all up to you. You don't have to do this, but I thought that could give it a little more life. So I'm just doing that on a few of these books. Well, that was all for today, so thank you for watching and happy crafting.